Welcome back, guys. Richard and April French RC said more. And you guessed it. It's been a busy freaking week. Oh, I've been wiring this fucker for like a week off camera because of all the cussing and all the scratching my head and having to do research and shit. This thing's just older than dirt. Look at this ammeter. Everything was run through the fucking altmeter gauge, dude. Everything. Like, here's the ground right here. See, that thing's the ground. It actually, all the lights ground right here, right to the surface. And there was a wire that grounded right here. This is how it was all wired up. There's the hose that broke for the freaking oil manor. Here's the little shiny new one coming out. Well, wham. All right. Um, fuel gauge that never worked. I'll have to figure out how that hokey fucking shit's all hooked up. Like, yeah, I understand there's like a positive and all that shit. You gotta figure out which one, because I didn't mark them, is the turn signal indicator. Not that big a deal. Got a few laying around. But I'm gonna have to put a battery in this thing before I put the new gauges in. And do some wiring testing and make sure everything's kosher, because everything's fucking metal in here. I'm gonna need a new defrost hose. And a couple other little things, but nothing major. Anyway, this is what we've come up with. Don't laugh at my tack bullshit because I didn't like how the metal bracket connected to the positive and negative on the battery terminals of the tack with just little plastic bushings I felt like that was really cheesy and might start a dash fire I'm actually planning on covering all these with like a rubber coating when I'm done all the hot power because that's all metal in there and I got a long way to go and I don't want no fucking bullshit problems in my dash. I've gone through a lot of work on this truck. Shit, I've had it for ever since I was 16 years old. Can't even see the weight of the cages bending the diamond plate up. Huh? some shit. There we go, that looks a little better. Kind of flexible, but bolts in here, 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 and here, and here. And here's a mystery wire I put an end on just because it had some kind of end on it before obviously it was stripped check this big freaking thing out dude isn't this thing cool one of our neighbors gave us this thing i'm not going to say where it was made or anything whoever gave it to us will recognize it i'm sure we're trying to straighten this thing out with 600 pounds and it almost worked <laughs> a little twisted in there. Maybe we can throw some lube in it and stretch it back out. And... Dude, check out this card I've had forever. We stored a 440 big block on this thing. Now we're going to store this little tiny 318 slash 360 on here. Yeah, it's not exactly just a 318. But, dude, isn't this cool? That's how we get things around the yard. Right here. America. 